Welcome back to Air Vibes Unboxed. Today, we're delving into the exciting world of supersonic travel. After decades of dormancy following the retirement of Concorde, supersonic flights are making a comeback. With advancements in technology and new players in the game, faster than sound travel could soon become a reality again. But what does this mean for the future of aviation? In this video, we'll explore the history of supersonic flights, the new technologies that are making a comeback possible, and the companies leading this modern supersonic race. The supersonic era began with the Concorde, a joint project between the UK and France. That took its first flight in 1969. The Concorde could cruise at over twice the speed of sound, reducing transatlantic flight times by half. But despite its technological marvel, it faced significant challenges such as high operating costs, environmental concerns, and a tragic crash in 2000 that ultimately led to its retirement in 2003. Since then, no commercial supersonic aircraft has graced the skies, but the dream of faster than sound travel never died. Fast forward to today, and the aviation industry is on the cusp of a supersonic renaissance. Advances in materials, aerodynamics, and engine technology are addressing the issues that grounded the Concorde. Modern supersonic aircraft designs feature quieter, more fuel-efficient engines and are crafted from lightweight composites that reduce, drag and improve fuel efficiency. One such innovation is the use of boomless cruise technology, which aims to minimize the sonic boom, allowing overland supersonic flights a game-changer for the industry. Leading the charge is Boom Supersonic a company based in Colorado that is developing the Overture, a supersonic airliner designed to carry 65 to 88 passengers at speeds of Mach 1.7. Boom aims to have its first test flights by the mid-2020s and enter service by 2029. Let's watch this quick video from Boom. It's about time. Time to turn the past into the present. Time to create the world's fastest airliner, optimized for speed, safety, and sustainability. Time to make flying, flying. Meet the refined design. Overture. Sculpted for speed and safety. Engineered for a sustainable future. It's about time to enter a new era of supersonic travel. Time to turn the future into the present. It's about time. Boom. Supersonic. Another significant player is Arian Supersonic, which was developing the S2, a business jet intended to reach speeds of Mach. 1.4. Before the company ceased operations in 2021, due to financial challenges, NASA is also in the game with its X-59 Quest, a research aircraft designed to test quite supersonic technology. The results from this project could pave the way for future commercial supersonic flights over land. One of the biggest challenges for supersonic travel has been its environmental impact particularly fuel consumption and noise pollution. The Concorde, for instance, was notorious for its sonic boom, which made overland flights impossible. Today's designers are focused on creating engines that use sustainable aviation, fuel and designs that minimize drag. Boom is committed to making Overture a net zero carbon aircraft, and NASA's X-59 Quest is testing ways to reduce the sonic boom to a gentle thump. These innovations could make supersonic, travel not only possible but also sustainable. If successful, the return of supersonic flights could revolutionize air travel. Imagine flying from New York to London in just over three hours, or from San Francisco to Tokyo in less than six. While initially, tickets may be expensive, similar to Concorde, advancements in technology and economies of scale could eventually make supersonic travel accessible to a broader audience. With the potential to transform international business, travel and tourism, the question isn't just if supersonic flights will return, but how soon and at what cost. Supersonic travel is no longer just a relic of the past. It's a vision for the future that's rapidly becoming a reality. With companies like Boom Supersonic and NASA, 
pushing the boundaries of what's possible. We may soon be experiencing the thrill of faster than sound travel once again. What do you think about the return of supersonic flights? Will they become a standard mode of travel, or will they remain a luxury experience? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of supersonic travel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos on the latest in aviation and technology.